Greetings friends, it's me, Sebastian. In this week's episode of So You Lost and Obtained Garbage, we will be talking about the new released 5 star catalyst Jade Falls Splendor. You know, because it's a catalyst. Because as we all know, let's just be real, catalyst users are a bit on the lower end as in, not many people really like them, but I mean, come on, how bad could it possibly be? We already had Everlasting Moon Glow. <laughs> You'd have to go pretty linear and pretty bad to, you know, become worse than that one as far as losing on the catalyst flip. Oh, oh that would be something, but no worries. This is after all a jade weapon, and we already have the jade sword and spear, and my god are those perfect, filled with crit rate and powerful abilities, and one of them is even on the standard banner, if you're gonna get lucky with that, like, why, I mean, why would this one be different just because it's a catalyst? No, there's no way in my mind that this weapon is anything else than, huh. Well, yeah, this is shit. Now, before I continue to completely destroy your faith in this weapon, allow me to first st start this by saying, I'm assuming you do not have a Baijo, or what, whatever was this guy's name. I mean, come if you have, just slap it on him, trust me. You can't do better, in, like, literally you cannot do better at the moment than that guy. And yes, even though I can admit that even at the moment it's paired up against the Amos bow, which, yeah, in my opinion, is kind of a lackluster. It's still good with Ganyu, yes, yes, I know, I know. I think Hunter's Path is better, but that's a whole topic. Can't wait for the rerun for this character when we get him paired with like an Arataki Ito good old redstone slasher versus this garbage. Ugh. But I think I'm being too harsh. Let's have a look at this weapon. Maybe there's some redeeming qualities to it. So, Jade Paul Splendor. It is a 5 star catalyst with an average base attack, and it has an HP percent as its substat. Which, I gotta say, if I had a Mora every time they did a 5 star catalyst with HP as its substat, you know what more I'd have? At two. It is, I'm pretty sure, twice as much as I never thought I'd have, and two times I'm pretty sure I didn't want any. But hey, it also has a passive ability, Primordial Jade Regalia. A bunch of text that amount to pretty much nothing, but for the sake of thingamabobs, let's read it through anyway. For three seconds after using an elemental burst or creating a shield, ooh, yummy, the equipping character can gain the Primordial Jade Regalia effect, restore 4.5 energy every 2.5 seconds, and gain 0.3 elemental damage bonus for their corresponding elemental type for every 1000 max HP they possess, up to 12%. Primordial Jade Regalia will still take effect even if the equipping character is not on the field. Now honestly I don't know where to start to tear this piece of shit apart, but let's start with the fact that HP% percent is unbelievably bad to get as a substat, unless it's for a very specific character, which let's for a moment assume you do not have Everlasting Moon Glow. In that sense, this is the highest HP you can get, but without Baijo, only characters that really care about HP are Barbara, which if you're playing with her, I, no, I mean good for you, I guess, and Kokomi. Now, to be fair, there is only Everlasting Moon Glow when we compare just the HP percent sub passive like, hey, here we go. Too bad it's pretty much meaningless once we start talking about the passive abilities. Now to answer the burning question, can Kokomi in fact take advantage of Jadefall Splendor's passive ability? Yes. And my god, can we do stuff with it? After all, for three seconds after using Elemental Burst, oh wait, three seconds? <laughs> Wow, jeez, mister, for a whole three seconds we get to use that buff. Oh, whoa, gee, oh, golly. And trust me when I say, even if we get that buff, it's not even actually that good. Now, for an argument's sake, I'm assuming you are playing a support Kokomi because that is the most played Kokomi. You know, you could also just go for this very legendary lineup play that I'm pretty sure no one else knows other than me because no one has ever even mentioned this called Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. A three-star weapon that well, you can get by pretty much summoning randomly. Anytime. Yep, it's probably the best support catalyst ever. And it's a three-star. And this is a five-star. Hmm, puts things to a weird perspective, doesn't it? Okay, okay. Maybe I'm being a tad too harsh on this weapon. How about we look for a character that can use the buff through activating a shield? Ah, there we go, consistency. There, see, I knew we could crack this. 
Now let's have a look at all the Catalyst users that can actually create a shield. So let's see, we have Baijo, but we already established that we don't have him. So other than that, we have... no one. Well, oh, that, 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 that went about as well as I expected. Now that is technically true that there is no Catalyst users that can create a shield through conventional methods, but hey, 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 we still have a good old Geo reactions. Are ah, you guys thinking the same thing I'm thinking? Investing thousands and thousands of dollars for internet waifus. Oh, Ningwan and Crystallize Reactions, I guess that works as well. I mean, maybe, I can't actually test this, and even though, <laughs> even if I could, oh, what a horrible build, like what? You're gonna load up your Ningwan with HP just to get this very mediocre buff that doesn't really help out at all. I mean, go nuts, I, I can't stop you, I mean, why would I? Wow, I sure am glad that we got to establish that if you do not have Baiju and have this weapon, there's literally nothing to do with it. Like a three-star catalyst is way better for almost all the supports that you have. Honestly, is it just that Hoyoverse is getting lazy? I mean, probably. But I mean, come on, how, how did they fuck this up? Or could it be that they just hate catalysts? I mean, I could go either way, but... When you think about it, they really had the perfect recipe and they just randomly decided to change that. Jade Spear, crit rate, good passive ability, mm, love it. Sword, crit rate, good passive ability, mm, love it. Catalyst, HP, really linear and weirdly worded effect that almost does nothing. Why? Now normally I would do a showcase where I show you how this weapon works, but one, I don't have this weapon, two, well actually that's just it. Now yes, I suppose I could gamble my very hard-earned wishes on this trash, but no. Because as it turns out, there's literally no character I can recommend to use this weapon with except good old good old Paizo over here. Oh god. So maybe I can take your mind off and play something else, like this? But Magic the Gathering Arena, it's free and a great way to play a game. Ooh, no lands. Well, don't worry, this is why we have the mulligan. Ooh. Well, let's go down to five. Well, let's go down to four. Three, though. Two? Can we go? Ugh. Well, one is always good as long as... Oh. Well, you know, when, you, when you're when you this deep, you might as well keep digging. Ah, don't worry. It's gonna be a top deck of the ages. Well, that was fun. Why do I play this again? You know what, guys? Forget that game. It wasn't gotcha enough for this channel. I mean, sure, there are these loot boxes. <laughs> Sorry, did I say loot boxes? I meant to say boosters that de are definitely not gambling, even though they contain a random assortment of cards of different value that you have to use in-game currency to obtain, which you can, of course, don't worry, buy with real money. But this is definitely not loot boxes or gambling. <laughs> they say I'm crazy. Well, I mean, I am, but th that's a whole different topic. But no, we have to get back to our roots and go back into the world of Gacha, and as it turns out, there's a whole new Gacha that we can play. Ah yes, Honkai Star Rail, a new game with bunch of things to do. Oh, can't wait, let the adventure begin. Well okay, so we have no star place, power, stamina, schmeckle or whatever you call that, so... Nothing I can do in that department. There's no quests to do... No chests or puzzles left to d dig up. Hmm... Nothing left to do in the simulated world department. No way to increase my adventure rank or grind anything, so... Yeah, I guess we're done here. Adventure over, guys! Well, that was fun and interactive. Ugh. Maybe one day we feature a actual game on this channel that's not just, you know, this free-to-play gotcha thingamabob. Ah, you know, but that's not today. Maybe for my birthday, you know, let's celebrate it with something weird. But after watching those two games, the important thing we learned is... Why did I do this again? I'm sure I had a point. It's probably blues and badly defined and i'm sure this video was about something oh yeah how could i forget so i guess i should or could talk about the weapon while i'm at it because i mean it is a video about it after all i think it's it sucks no easy way to say it it's literally only decent with baijo and that's the limit of that what that weapon can do at the moment at least in the future, if they release a Catalyst user that can create a shield that somehow, by some miracle, cares about HP and energy recharge more than crit rate and crit damage, yeah, it can work in that very linear situation. But before that day comes to dawn on us, it's pretty bad. 
by all standards. In my opinion, Hoyovers messed up at the beginning of the game when they created Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. Like, that weapon as a 3 star is such a house. Like, why would I ever want to have a better support weapon when I already got the best one? Really a poor decision on their part, I should say. But yeah, as it stands, without Baijo, this weapon is trash. I hope to god that you didn't actually get this. Without Baijo. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this rather unique edition of So You Lost and Obtained Garbage. I honestly tried to figure out something positive about it, but there's literally nothing. I mean, I did some loose thinking with Baijo, and even I was like, even if I have the character I wouldn't want, it's like, why wouldn't I just play the thrilling tales of dragons? Why would I risk and throw a bunch of wishes and get this as a compensation when I can wait for a actually good weapon banner and get really good weapons for those characters that I actually care about dealing damage rather than have a slightly better worse situation with some random builds with my uh, random Baijo that I might not even play that much. Yeah, I tried. I did a lot of things. I mean, I didn't do that much, but I did try. It just, hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But yes, thank you again so much for watching, and remember, anyone who likes, comments, shares, and subscribes on this channel is considered a personal friend of mine. And again, I am the best friend you can possibly have. You never have to worry about me stealing that special someone you have in your life. Probably. I'm too lazy. But on the off chance she's, she's on my radar dips. I, I'm sorry, it's just the way it works. Anyway, I'll see you next week, probably doing something completely different. See ya.